Good evening brothers and sisters. Today's subject is how old is the earth, the biblical earth. Now if you go to Genesis, Genesis tells us as, as a great story. It says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. So what have happened between Genesis 1 and verse 2? Now, I'm not going into the whole subject about that, but today I'm just discussing the biblical earth from creation of man, uh, from Adam unto us today. I believe the earth was created in little six days, and God said in six days He created the earth, on the seventh day He is going to rest. Now a thousand years is like a day unto the Lord, and a day is like a thousand years. So the earth at present is six five thousand nine hundred and ninety-two years old. Two thousand and nineteen equals five nine nine two years. Rapture and tribulation 2020, the second coming of Yeshua 2027. But before you go on and it's a oh, another date setter, no, I am not date setting. I am done with date setting 2017. I believe the Lord Jesus Christ uh, was, was coming. But it wasn't to be. Nevertheless, almost all scholars believe there is no way to find out when the last Jubilee was. 1977 was the last Jubilee in our generation. Israel never observed the Jubilees. That is why God banished them to Babylon. I believe that Jesus would return 2017, however he did not, and I wanted to know why, when the final jubilee is. The Holy Spirit set me down and taught me here a little and there a little, line upon line, until I put all pieces together. I had almost five confirmations that Jesus started his ministry on the 80th Jubilee people. Now, it is so difficult to make sounds. People are like a proverbial ostrich. They do not want to believe. They want to believe 2007, 18 is the last time Jesus is coming now. You know, there is a specific time that Jesus will return. And he stated clearly in the Bible. He said it, And the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with man forever. His days shall be hundred and twenty years. Now, in the days when he said that man lived until... 950 years, of course, Methuselah were 969 years old. Of course, we all know what Methuselah means. Methuselah means when he dies, the flood will come. And Jesus, of course, did say, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be again. We we'll all know that only 8 people out of 15 billion people survived the flood. Only 8. Jesus said it's going to be again like that. Now, the angel told angel Gabriel, told Daniel the exact time, the exact time of, of Christ coming. He said from the going forth, the going forth of the, of the decree, it will be 483 years and Jesus will come the anointed, the Messiah, will come. And Jesus arrived August 27 AD on the 80th Jubilee people. He arrived on the 80th Jubilee August. He was baptized by John. And he fasted for 40 days after that. 
and on the uh, uh, the on the, ju the jubilee day, Yom Kippur, Jesus preached Isaiah Isaiah sixty one verse one and two in his hometown, and he said, "This day, this day." This scripture is fulfilled before your very eyes. And guess what, what they wanted to do? They wanted to stone Jesus. Why did they want to stone Jesus? <laughs> they remember Babylon. They remember the, 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 the Jubilees. And Jubilees were never, never, ne uh, uh, Israel never observed the Jubilees. That is why God banished, banished uh, Israel uh, uh, to Babylon. Now, I believe that Jesus would return, as I said, however, he did not. He did not. And after I inquired from the Lord, uh, uh, the Holy Spirit set me down and he taught me line upon line uh, and I, and until I put all the pieces together. Now, as I said, I had almost five confirmations that Jesus started his ministry on the 8th year Jubilee. Jubilee, Daniel was the last subject and his was a perfect match of all the other studies I had before Daniel. 457 BC, 457 BC was the 71st Jubilee from Creation Day from Adam until uh, the Artaxerxes gave the decree for in the year 457 BC. Now there is another date, people. I'm not going into the world, uh, world, uh, world history of it again. You must watch the previous video. And this video, look out for this video. Uh, Daniel 70 weeks revealed the rapture and the tribulation. Please do watch that uh, video. So, Jesus uh, started his ministry then on the 18th Jubilee in the 15th year of the Roman Emperor, Emperor Tiberius, that you can find it in Luke uh, 3 verse 7. And his baptism was on the date uh, August 27 AD, AD, as I said earlier, earlier on. Now, the 69 weeks or 83 years takes us to the anointing of the Messiah on this very day. I'm repeating it again so that it can sink in. Please, the rapture is not going to happen this year. Jesus cannot come just like at any time. The rapture can't happen just any, any day. It is specific at the exact moment when that 6,000 years is over, Jesus will come. Now, we left with 40 Jubilees, which is 2,000 years. Now, add that to 27 AD, that equals 20, 2027 AD. From Adam unto Abram was 40 Jubilees, which equals 2,000 years. From Abram unto Jesus, was 40 jubilees equals 2,000 years. So now, if you take the date, uh, 27 AD, the day that Jesus uh, was anointed by John the Baptist, and if you subtract that from the 4,000, 4, then you arrive at the creation year 3973. It is the creation year. That is how I arrived at a, uh, at a date. It's not date setting. It's not speculation. It is from the Bible. Everything is not in the Bible. Of course, you have to search history. And 457 BC is the correct date. Not 445. 45 is the second day. Uh, second uh, uh, the decree, the insurance policy, as I always say, that was the insurance policy. Uh, many people use the date 445, it is not the correct date. The 45 date overlaps, or it way overlaps by, uh, by, uh, by many years. You cannot calculate 
the the uh, uh, the timeline according to the uh, 360 days that is out by 221 years or 20 uh, by 20 years now and we cannot use that uh, 360 day calendar because the solar year is 365 days per year because Israel still add additional month every month so it's not it's not gonna work people you have to cal calculate according to a solar year and you can't uh, calculate according to a prophetic year okay so from Adam to Abram was 40 jubilees from Abram unto Jesus was 40 jubilees from Jesus unto 20s uh, uh, unto unto us 20 uh, 20 2027 is 40 jubilees 2027 minus 6000 gives you the same sum three uh, uh, three nine seven three that of course was a julian calendar the creation year 2027 plus three nine seven three equals six thousand years so that of course we're not in uh, 2018 anymore we are in uh, 2000 and let me correct it there uh, 2019 equals 5992 now I expect uh, 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 Jesus to return about the same time as the time when he start commence his ministry he commences ministry in the fall feast and I also believe that uh, the creation of the earth also took place in uh, in the fall feast. It's roundabout from August, from August onwards, July, uh, July, August. But I'll show you now on the uh, uh, in the Stellarium. I find that that's very interesting. I did the subject already in another video, but I didn't show them the Stellarium. But uh, here I'm going to show you this the Stellarium. And there's a very interesting verse in the Bible, Amos 9, verse 8, 3, and it says there, And it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, noon, and I will darken the earth in clear day. That is where I checked the Stellarium out of over 10 year period and I could only find one solar eclipse there and if you look at there it says in Daniel and then uh, uh, not Daniel Matthew 24 verse 29 and the moon will not give its light with the rapture of course this the, the the moon turn into blood but with the return of Jesus, the moon will not give its light. And Amos 8 verse 9 says, And it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in clear day. In what day does, does, uh, does that refer to? Uh, a second coming. Jesus Christ will stand on Mount Olives during a solar eclipse, people, causing the greatest earthquake, uh, Revelation 16. Uh, Revelation 16, uh, exactly, I don't know the verse exactly, but uh, that earth, the greatest of earth earthquake, there are three in total. One occur at the beginning of the, of the, of the pre-tribulation rapture. There's a mid-tribulation rapture. Uh, another one uh, occur there in the mid-tribulation, a great earthquake, there are three great earthquakes, worldwide earthquakes, and this one is the last one, and is the greatest of all, all of them, and even that earthquake, that earthquake in itself will create the the, uh, uh, the moon not to give its uh, 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 light at that, at that time. Yeah. So, uh, of course, some of you will say, yes, there will be a pole shift and everything else uh, uh, at the beginning of uh, Revelation, uh, Revelation 6. Yes, I believe it will be a pole shift, but God will be specifically on time as it states in the Bible. Yeah, yeah, so... Uh, 
everyone uh, in human history will be affected. This will affect everyone on this planet and will be miraculously, miraculously, miraculously ending the battle of Armageddon. Zechariah 14 verse 4, And his feet shall stand in that day upon Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof towards the, 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 uh, the, the east and towards the west, and there shall be a very, very uh, great valley, and half of the mountain shall re uh, remove towards the north, and half of it towards the south. This is, of course, with this great earthquake, it happens at simultaneously. And Jesus stood with the one feet on the other one, and the one foot on the other one. My God! Jesus is eternal. That, of course, is the second coming, Matthew 24, verse 29. It's the second coming, not the, 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 the rapture. There is another, there is, uh, there's a pre-tribulation rapture, a mid-tribulation rapture, and when Jesus Christ returns, solar eclipse over Jerusalem, look out for this video. Uh, very interesting solar uh, eclipse over Jerusalem, 8 to verse 27. And this can be confirmed in the solar, in the stellarium. If you look at 27, uh, 2027 in the stellarium, 2nd or the 8th, here you find uh, uh, this is all in the constellation Cancer. The sun uh, is in in, in in Cancer, then you find Venus there as well as the Moon, and an eclipse took place. I'll show, uh, I'll demonstrate it for you. Right, it's ten o'clock, eleven o'clock. On twelve o'clock itself, there is a solar eclipse right there. Right there, you can see there is a solar eclipse taking place right on on that on that spot. At 12 o'clock, you can turn it a little bit back. There you can see the solar eclipse over Israel. And it takes place, where does it take place? Right in Cancer. What is Cancer st standing for? We're coming now there. And uh, of course, the Jupiter, the king planet, the heavenly signs do not lie, people. Jupiter is back in Leo every 11th year. Every 11th year, uh, Jupiter has to be, be uh, to be back in, in, in Leo for return of Jesus. And there you find it, it's in conjunction, if you go uh, back a few, few days, that is on the 24th, 24th, you'll find that uh, the 25th or the 26th, 25th. 25th, there are Regulus, Regu Regulus and Jupiter is in conjunction uh, in Leo, just before return. And eight days later, uh, Jesus then arrives, eight days later, Jesus arrives at 12 noon, 12 noon, he arrives back. Now you would say, why would he arrive, wouldn't he arrive on Yom Kippur? Yes. He will still arrive on Yom Kippur, but that will be counted on Daniel's timeline, the 1,260 days, uh, and the 1,000, he returns, and the 1,235 days, and the 1,290 days. And it says, Blessed is he comes yeah, unto the 2,335 day. You must remember this is a great, great earthquake. Jesus came back and destroyed the people at Armageddon. And it says in the Bible, it takes about seven months just to remove all the corpses. There's the greatest earthquake happened happen right at uh, the, this time. And Jesus did say, you will come back at an hour where you think not. And this has happened to be right in August, in the month of August, uh, or the month of Av. We call it the month of Av in the Hebrew uh, uh, calendar. So uh, 
here we find a solar eclipse exactly then on to, uh, uh, at, at noon and that is right in uh, um, uh, in in cancer now let us quickly see what uh, what the Bible say about cancer here we can see the uh, 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 the fall feast the fall feast is uh, from Iris Taurus Gemini cancer these are part of the fall feast constellations as part of the fall feast and um, Gemini what does Gemini represent the two witnesses the two witnesses the prince comes in great uh, a glory for uh, the merits, uh, uh, merits of the land. Cancer is the remnant bride united, brought safely into the uh, into the kingdom. Jesus bring us all back uh, from heaven, where we were there for seven years, and uh, 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 this is also mean ta tabernacle, sukkot booth, and Jesus then is returning, and then you also find. That uh, the king planet uh, Jupiter is also back in Leo. Now the zodiac, the zodiac is God's clock, people. The zodiac is God's clock, and the planets and the stars is the have, uh, is the planets thereof. So exactly at six thousand years, just as Jesus has said, He will return, uh, uh, people. So there you can see it in yourself. The sun is in uh, Cancer. Um, the tabernacles. Jesus brought the, the bride safely back. Jupiter is back in the king planet. And we find Gemini. Uh, Gemini the, uh, represent the bride. Everything is conclusive. The heavenly signs do not lie, people. Not at all. And interestingly enough, if you look back at, if you want to look back at creation year, creation year, just let's go to creation year, three, uh, nine, seven, three, and then you minus, minus there, then you find that on this particular date uh, is the, um, all the planets align. All the planets align, uh, align in one, uh, in one. What's his name? And by the way, there is also a solar eclipse on that day. Could this be the time frame of uh, uh, the Earth was out of form and void, and uh, afterwards creation took place after also in then into into August? It could very well be possible. There we find. All the planets line, and the same thing that happened on the 18th of July uh, uh, 2018. All the planets were also aligned. Then on uh, the the one side of the uh, of the of the Earth, so all the planets then align. Here we find it's um, what's this planet here? Just go in there. It is regular Saturn, Mercury uh, there. And then we find the Venus, we find the Moon and the Sun, all in alignment and uh, with Jupiter, of course, and Mars. All the planet lines up on the day uh, for, cre for, for, for the creation of, of God. And all the witnesses are there as well. And God said, let there be light and there was light. Wow. So... This is the time I believe it's creation, and the rabbis do believe that that uh, the creation uh, a creation took place on feast of trumpets, but uh, of course that is on the calendar that they use in four thousand and four. But then the planets didn't line up, and there is no relevance. I don't see any signs in heaven it's for that. People, Psalm 19 say the heavens declare the glory of God. And the heavenly signs do not lie. He does speak concerning the heavenly signs. And this is my finding then in um, the Stellarium. So, yeah, I don't want to take much time. Uh, do it. So please do uh, watch this video in conjunction 
with this other video uh, here. Uh, Christ stands on Mount Olives at noon. Amos 8 verse 9. And what's this video as well? The 70th week on Daniel confirms the rapture and the tribulation. And as I said, it's not bait setting. It's right in the Bible. Concerning the day and the hour, Jesus said it more than 2,000 years ago. And if you read to read uh, uh, Revelation 1 verse 7, it has been made known. It doesn't mean that uh, it will not be uh, not known forever. It is being made now. In the days of Daniel, of course, the books were sealed up by uh, the time when Jesus was on the earth. And now it is all being revealed. So, okay. So, please do subscribe. Uh, set your your notification uh, button and remember Jesus is returning are you in the ark are you saved are you born again are you serving Jesus now, well and if you do not then get into the ark now uh, be blessed people Jesus all loves you